If you have two secants that intersect outside of a circle, then the following relationship will always be true. If you take the length of the entire secant, of one of the entire secants, so AE, and multiply it by the length of the piece of the secant that's outside of the circle, that will equal the product of the length of the entire other secant times the length of the piece that is outside of the circle. Okay. So in this example here, if I want to find x, then I can just say, well, r t, which is the length of that entire secant, times s t is equal to p t times q t. Okay, well r t is x plus 9, so x plus 9 times 9, pt is 5 plus 8, so pt is 13, and qt is 8, so 13 times 8 is 104. If I distribute this 9, I'll get 9x plus 81. If I subtract 81 from both sides, I'll get 9x is equal to 23. And then if I divide both sides by 9, I'll get x is equal to 23 over 9. Okay, let's try the next one. Here, I don't have values or um, labels on the points, so I'm just going to use the values here. So 12 is the length of this entire secant times the length of this piece, which is going to be 12 minus x. Okay, so 12 minus x times 12 minus x is equal to 19 <coughs> times 3. If I distribute the 12, I'll have 144 minus 12x equals um, 19 times 3 is 57. Okay. If I subtract 144 from both sides, I'll have negative 12x is equal to um, negative 87. And then if I divide both sides by negative 12, I will have x is equal to 87 over 12, which simplifies to 29 over 4.